I got my my two sacks of McGoodness right here. So what we're going to do, just going to give you an idea of how this food is breaking down in your body. I'm just going to put it in some jars to kind of show you how it breaks down on its own over time, over the next, you know, four, five, six, seven months. So in here, we've got my favorite right there, the Big Mac. So we're going to put the Big Mac right here in jar number one, Chicken McGrill. Boy, let me tell you something, the smell of this food, I just want to take a bite out of it already. One of the worst things on the whole menu, the filet o fish. Look at that thing. It still looks terrible. Going right in there. Next, quarter pounder. That actually looks like meat. There's the quarter pounder. Some fantastic fries. So we're just going to dump right in this jar, right there. In that last jar, we're going to get a hamburger from up the street from a place where they actually make real hamburgers, where they take the patties and they press them with their own hands and put them on the grill, you know, it's like real meat. And lastly, french fries from a regular restaurant. See what happens at the same time. Two weeks, french fries from a regular restaurant. Two weeks, french fries from a McDonald's restaurant. Two weeks, sweaty, moldy burger in there. That burger's all moldy. The flavor is just starting to mold. That's some kind of cheeseburger. And the Big Mac, still nothing. Big Mac hasn't even started to mold yet. Big Mac, still looks like we just bought that thing. Lettuce, a little moldy. Chicken McGrill, Definitely seen some better days. That thing is beat up. Filet of fish, look at that white fuzz on the top of it. The quarter pounder, that thing's got a rainforest going on inside there. This burger, same thing. Look, it's starting to get juicy on the bottom. The bun is just like coagulating into some kind of goo. Here's the regular french fries. Those things are black and crazy. Want to see what the McDonald's french fries look like? Check this out. That's right, some kind of fluke of nature. That's right, this can't explain. But this is what you're eating every time you get these fries. Ooh, that's the Big Mac, that looks good, doesn't it? Mm. Look at this. Oh, the chicken McGrill looks fantastic. Oh, that's so yummy. Look at the filet of fish. That's very impressive. The quarter pounder really coming to the end of the road. And are you ready for the french fries? You ready? That's right. Look at that, folks. Why are these not breaking down? That's a really good question. And you have to ask yourself, wow, what's that doing in my stomach then? Big Mac, eight weeks. Chicken McGrill, I don't even know what that runny liquid goo is right there. Now we move on to the delicious filet of fish. What do we got, eight weeks? Mmm, mossy goodness. Here's the quarter pounder with cheese and the little sweat box that's happening there. Look at that. Looks like the ice age is set in on our quarter pounder with cheese. McDonald's french fries. So it's now been two months and look what's happening here. That's right. Still nothing. Ten weeks on the Big Mac. Frosty goodness. Look at the chicken McGrill. Mmm. Ten weeks. All oh, the filet -O fish Ooh, it does it get any better than that? I don't even know what that fuzz on the top is. Week number 10, quarter pounder. Some kind of crazy little like, science experiment happening there. Look at that. What is wrong with that? There's not even one little sporozoar on there. There's not nothing breaking down. Nothing. Looks like we bought them yesterday. <laughs>